Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the ninth MooCast. And today we are featuring a fan replay. That's right, a fan replay between a fan replay sent in by Sore Pinky, the blue Zerg in the top right on Backwater Gulch. And on the top left, we've got ACN Invasion, who is the red Protoss. Yep, Sore Pinky is our hero because he sent us our first fan game ever, so. Yep. Uh, congrats to him. Yes, thank and you, yeah, his, Pinky. Yeah, his opponent is going to be Asian Invasion. Asian Invasion. That is a pretty cool name because I yes. myself am Asian, so. Yes, you are, and I'm not. <laughs> Technically, I am. My great grandmother immigrated here from Russia, but. Is that right? Yes, that is right. I, I don't look like it at all, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just a typical white boy. Yeah, I haven't seen you in like a couple years. Oh, what are you talking about? I saw you like in September. <laughs> Two years ago. Two years ago? No, I was like. This year. Was it really? Yep. Oh, okay. Stopped by for my brother's graduation. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the StarCraft game. There's yeah, not a whole so lot going on. He's getting an early gas at 11 supply. Yeah. Or interesting. Got the 10 pool coming down for Sore Pinky. Yeah, he does have a 10 pool. Probably put some early aggression on. Mm -hmm. in, um, in the email we got from Sore Pinky, he... Uh, wanted us to uh, let him know what he was doing good, what he was doing bad, so um, I think we should kind of try and point out some of the things that he could do better on, some of the things that um, he is doing good already, and uh, just try and help him out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. And Asian Invasion is actually walling off his whole front. Yep. That usually, is very peculiar. Yeah, usually protest players will leave a small spot in between the pylon and the edge so that they can put a zealot there. And they yeah. can stop um, Zerglings from running in, but they can also um, get out of their base when they need to. So yeah, that'll be interesting, unless he goes for, like, mass air, goes gets lots of Void Race or something. Maybe, that's why he got the early gas, I don't know. Yeah, could be. And, um... So Piggy's put down his hatchery, uh, pretty standard, 15 supply. Yep. And, uh, he's getting his uh, extractor. That's also pretty typical. I don't know what the point of this early pool was, you know? I don't either, because he didn't really make any circling, but... Yeah, maybe he's scared of aggression, or... Yeah. Because 13 pool is just fine. I mean, I don't know why... I don't know what the point is for the early pool. Yeah, I'm not really sure either, but... Maybe for the early queen, inject? Maybe. I suppose. It's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, it's not that bad of an idea, but... He might be I... trying to spend Ishu while play, just go mass Zergling, Speedling, and mass queens. Yeah, maybe, yeah. No gas. <laughs> Except yeah, the Yeah, wise build is pretty solid. Yeah, it is. But, alright, so we got a Zealot coming out in the, from the Protoss player. He's chronoing his, out his um, warp gate tech. So, probably some kind of 4-gate build, which doesn't really explain why he walled off. Now he's getting a Twilight Council. And maybe he could go for Blink Stalkers or Dark Templars, maybe. Yeah, I suppose, but... Dark Templars would be pretty good. Yeah. As well as Blink Stalkers, maybe. I don't know why he built his Twilight Council right out in front, though. Yeah, so I know, it just really is very easy type. to scout. Um, yeah. Sore Pinky could definitely run up a Zergling up this ramp and just get a full scout of all these buildings here. He doesn't have a roller position, so he sees a little bit. Yeah. Let's check his vision quick. Alright, so... He sees... The... Another... The second... The, uh, yeah, the second gateway coming down. And the and two pylons. Yeah. But, um, that is all. So, Sword Pinky just making drones, the usual. He takes off the gas off the, uh, he takes off the drones off the extractor. So, he's probably not going for any early layer tech. Yeah. Like just the metabolic boost. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sword Pinky, a tip of advice. I would highly recommend that you, um, keep a Zergling over at your opponent's natural to know when they expand. And, um, just oh, yeah. run, it, run it up the ramp periodically so then you can... Even if they don't build their buildings here, I mean, this is kind of unusual where uh, <laughs> Asian Invasion put all his buildings out in front for you to scout very easily, but um, it, even if even if they don't, you can usually see what kind of units they have out in the front. So if you spot lots of Stalkers, you can assume Blink Stalkers, or if you see, uh, I don't know, Immortals or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can see his Twilight Council. He has yeah. Blink going on. 
And if you just periodically run up your links, like Storm said, you can get a general idea of what their army is. Like, if you see, like, maybe one Stalker or three Zealots, then you'll know there's not going to be a lot of aggression. Yeah. And, um, it turns out, um, Asian Invasion just finished his blink for his Twilight Council. From his Twilight Council, so it looks like he's probably going to go blink Stalkers. Um, like I said, I don't really understand what the point of the Zealots were. Because yeah. They're pretty much trapped in his base unless he wants to destroy the timeline. Um, so it looks like Sora Pinky's coming out with some evolution chambers, probably gonna get some upgrades. Um, he could be worried about an air attack. Although, he hasn't scouted this wall off, so... Well, he, he kinda right. sees everything anyway. Yeah. He sees the four gateways, just like yeah. flat out. Mm -hmm. You check his vision. But he, he doesn't know that he walled off. If you knew that he completely walled off, then you might assume that they're going some kind of air attack and you'd probably get spore crawlers up and maybe some hydralisks or something. Uh, more queens, just to make sure that you don't get caught off guard with mass void rays or something crazy like that. But I do like his link placement. It's at the natural, so yeah. yeah. You should run. Yeah. He, so that's definitely good. Um, yeah. Maybe run up to run it up the ramp. Just yeah, run it up scout. the ramp. Yeah, because if you see most of these stalkers, you know that the Tali Council was for blink, not for charger DTs. Yeah. So it does look like he blinks down, sort of. Um, look like <laughs> kind of failed. <laughs> like he only blink half of his guys, but uh, looks like oh, he just went down and he's gonna take yeah. out that overlord there. Oh, uh, the intestine just floating out into space. Or, uh, the whatever you call that. <laughs> Crevasse. A crevice. Yep, same thing. So he's pushing out. Yep. And you do, and he, uh, and Sword Pink does have those Omega watchtowers, so that is very good for him. So yes, he'll know that, that the aggression is on the way. Mm -hmm. Um, he has had a drone down here at the um, one of the spawn locations in the bottom left for no apparent reason. I think that's been there most of the game. Yeah, maybe that was a scouting drone. I think yeah, for you guys. Yeah, I, th I think it was. He just never did anything with it. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, Sword Peking has his infestation pit on the is is up and has pathogen glands coming up. Yep. So he's probably going to get some infestors. That would make sense. And he's got um, some upgrades going. Upgrades are always good. He's got um, Zerg melee attacks and the ground carapace, so defense and melee being upgraded. Melee. Melee. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I like to say things how they look. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mealy. In that case, he would be researching Pneumatize Carapace. If, yep. if, if I pronounce <laughs> it like yours. Pneumatized. <laughs> Pneumatized Carapace. Yep. Overlord speed, probably just to spread some creep. Yeah, and the Protoss player is, uh, he got supply blocked for a while there. He wasn't really making anything. But uh, yeah, he did yeah. come down to three pylons, so he looked, he's in a better spot now. Yeah, and Sword Pinky, I would uh, recommend getting a third queen as well, just for spreading creep and for transfuse as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work too well against Protoss because of their um, observers, but yeah. uh, against Terran, it's, it's very crucial. So I don't know if you usually do that, because it's not a Terran game, but yeah, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So he's getting Burrow, so that's good. Um, you could get a Banelings Nest, and then you have little green landmines everywhere, but it's probably just going to stick with the Infestors for now with the... Uh, Fungal growth and their infested terrans. Yeah, fungal growth uh, is so good. Yeah, it is. And apparently, Asian Invasion is keeping his stalkers at his third expansion. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I know. I don't really understand the point of that unless he's trying to blink up into his main from. Oh, he's waiting for the observer. Yeah, that's, that's it's coming across good. the map. But it looks like those zerglings are gonna. Oh, the infestors! Oh, uh oh, uh oh. 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 Oh, that is not oh, good. He did have burrow finish, so we could have burrowed those uh, infestors, although the observer there probably would have given him away, but yeah. it still wouldn't have been a bad idea to try. Just in case. Yeah, he, yeah, he blinks up into the main, but just too many zerglings. He cannot survive this attack. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a little late. You know, blink stalkers usually come pretty early, so the zerg can't mac her up, but yeah. uh. With all those zerglings, though, I think it's yeah, Asian Invasion just losing all of his stalkers. Yeah, and 13 minutes into the game, he's still on one base. Um, yeah, he is still on one base. should definitely expand. Well, he has a probe in his war prison back at home. That's true. I guess it is kind of hard for him to expand because he can't 
um, get any units out of his base without destroying buildings, but... He does have a lot of money, though, uh, surprisingly. And it uh, looks like he's going to put some units in there and probably try and get his expansion.